Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Through Time, where today we're going to go over more of the in-dev recreations. So I believe this will be episode 21.5 part 2, I think. So right now we are in a version, in-dev, 1.7, and we already went over this version where I had all these new like world types. So yeah, I could just play with TNT or whatnot. Oh, looks like you can't cancel TNT anymore. But yeah, there's really nothing too special to go over in this version. So let's just blow some things up and upgrade. Hello and welcome to Indev 1.8 Dev Build 1. So first off, in my inventory, it looks like my torch has been replaced by animated fire texture. You see that? Oh, well, that's a very interesting fire entity on the ground. Very, very interesting. Whoops, I accidentally realized that F7 is my large world screenshot and F6 is my pause key. Got that mixed up since I recently changed that. Whoopsies. So why don't we just try placing this down to see what it looks like. Oh. That's really interest. That's a really interesting fire texture. Looks like it was just a remodel of the torch. Okay. You, still, you take damage. Can you burn from it? Okay. It does not look like you burn from it. Will that light the TNT? Will that explode the TNT? Okay, most definitely will. Okay. Can I light up this whole forest on fire? Um. What? Very, very nice fire mechanics I'm seeing right here. Really nice. Okay, why don't I just add some fire to this flames? Wait, that made absolutely no sense. But whatever. Let's make a big boom boom. Oh shoot. Woo! Ooh, it revealed gold! Was gold always this texture? It must have changed texture sometime. Oh my gosh. I accidentally got out of this thing. Will I get gold blocks? Nice. Well, you know what? Playing with fire is all fun and games, but you know... You really shouldn't play with fire. It's not really the best habit in the world, is it? Wait, what? I could just spam it all in one place? Very, very interesting. Oh, well, I just placed it all there. Just spam some TNT and call it a day. But before this TNT blows up, right now, if you... Oh. Okay. It'll blow up anyways, but... Right now, if you look in the inventory, there's island, floating, flat, and inland. That's a new world type, so let's check that out. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you already watched my series, you know what the inland world type already looks like. But I'll show you anyways, if you have not seen it, through this recreation. And remember, I'm going through all recreations in this episode, or mostly. Depending on what I do my intro and outro in. Yeah, the inland is literally just a classic world, pretty much. But with, like, an explorable outside that you, you can't do anything with. In fact, you can't place anything, you can't place fire. It's kind of useless, but yeah. I mean, I could drop stuff and have some entities outside of the world. I don't think it's going to save, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's about it. So, it's, it's time for an upgrade. So, let's go. Alright. We have upgraded to Indev. 1 8 dev build 2. If you look at my inventory, I have torches back, but I have whatever this invisible entity is. In fact, I dropped it, and it looks like I pick it up, but I can't see it. So, you might be thinking, Are these gears? No, they aren't gears. Let me show you what it is it's fire, the one we know and love. In fact, I want to see if there's a burning mechanic now. 
No, it does not look like you get caught in fire. But let's take a look at this texture from above. So if you look, it looks like there's textures on all, all four sides, of course. But then it looks like there's textures going up at an angle. Oh, whoops. It looks like there's textures going up at an angle on this block. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's almost like... Yeah, you can kind of see with that pixel. I'm kind of following it, tracing it. It's going up almost in a line like this. Around sideways, like at a... What do you call that? Like a 40 degree angle, 30, something like that. So that's what it looks like. And I believe if I light a tree on fire, it's going to be like a little better. Maybe. I don't know. Can I light TNT on fire now? Um, yeah, I can. <laughs> but yeah, I want to test out if I can burn these trees. And can I place fire in the same spot again? Yeah, you still can. Oh, look, I can actually place the fire on the trees normally. And it actually looks decent. And fire is also really, really fast to spread. Wow. Let's see how long I'll be safe being over here. Which is the farthest point from the flames. Well, if I don't fall, it's the farthest point from the flames. Like, right here. And I'm already engulfed in it. Awesome. All these trees are just... Ow, ow, ow. No. Okay, you know what? That's my cute upgrade. Because there's nothing else to show you. Let's go. Okay, 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 we are in Indev 1.9, and if you look at my inventory, I have three new blocks in my inventory, and I'm not really entirely sure why they're in the inventory, Well, my best guess is to test out the new fire mechanics. So I place a line of cloth here, a line of glass here, and a line of wood here, and I remember our glass used to drop in it. That's so weird. And there's a drop glitch where I drop two still existing, yeah, so weird. So let's see if I could get wall on fire. If I can burn the side. I can't burn the side, but... Huh. Is it going to spread? Fire, are you going to spread? What are you doing? Okay, interesting. Oh, I think it's supposed to spread. Okay, yeah, it does spread. I don't know why it didn't spread in this case. Because if I just spam these guys, these, these should all light on fire. Oh, whoops. Okay, what if I place the fire here? What? No, that's a torch. I don't know why it's not working right now. What? Okay, there we go. Now you're spreading. And if I place it on a glass right here. Oh, look. I could place it on a glass and it does nothing. Wait, what? What? It's invisible on glass? What? You know what? So if I break this, the fu the wood burning. But if I break, wait. So let's place the fire on the glass. Break it. Place a piece of wood. Interesting. I don't know. That's weird. Like there's fire on the glass because wood burns. We know that. Can I even catch on fire yet? No. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, these fire mechanics seem to be a little wonky still. So I think I'm just going to upgrade to the next version once all this TNT goes kablooey. If it ever will. Why aren't you burning the TNT? I died to... I didn't even die to the TNT, really. Alright, upgrade time. Yo, yo, yo. We are in Indev 1.11. And you might have noticed, the quality of the video went slightly higher. And that's because you're not tripping or anything. That's because I could actually record in full screen, which means I could re record... Well, I could record on a 1080 1080p naive screen, while the video gets reduced down to 720, instead of recording like 360 or 480p or whatever default Minecraft window is, where it's like that small little window that's like a quarter of my screen. I'm recording like four times more surface area. But yeah, it looks like I have some new stuff in my inventory. First off, cloth is now white instead of green or turquoise or whatever it's called. Looks like I got flint and steel, which lights things on fire now. So that's cool. I'm holding it a very awkward way. 
Also, I hope I just mentioned a version earlier, but I'm in Indev 111 if I did not say that. I really hope I did. And we got Axe, which looks a little weird. Does he even break things faster? Wait, what? what? What was that? Did you just see that? No, wait, how did I do that? What? That's cool. But yeah, it looks like I could break things faster. If I use a spoon, it should break, or a shovel, I break the ground faster. If I use my pickaxe, which I gotta dig down a little bit. Actually, you know what? No, that's not what I meant to do. Let's just let the TNT do the mining for me. Boom. Now I can go down. And we can mine this cobblestone nice, quickly, and easily with our very weird pickaxe. <laughs> that just. Uh, it's weird not having it as a voxel, sorry, and just having it as a 2D image hitting things. But yeah, Indev is actually starting to turn into regular survival Minecraft. It's starting to develop its form, and I like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it in this version, so it's upgrade time. Hello, and welcome to Indev 1.13. And supposedly this version adds a finite water system. So let's see how that finite water really works. So supposedly, if I just break out this whole area, it should not be able to spread infinitely. So I'm just going to break out this whole area, let that fall in. Um... That doesn't seem very finite to me, does it? I don't have any water blocks to test out with. It's not like I can load a level. Yeah, I don't have level loading. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I can test that officially. Um, I was expecting that to actually work. Alright. Well, this is awkward. I guess we'll upgrade to the next version to skip the awkwardness. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Hello, and welcome to Indev 113C. Yeah, so apparently a creative variant of Minecraft Indev has been released, which is weird. I look at my inventory, I actually have blocks and stuff. Wow, I almost fell. But, but let me show you this. Creative's not working, because... Yeah. I could just place all my blocks down. They're single use. Oh, it looks like I can instantly break them. But there's no block drops. And there's no pick block, of course. So the only thing I can really do is instantly break blocks. Kind of like... This is pretty much a worse version of the resource test for Minecraft early survival test. But I shouldn't be able to die from fall damage, so if I just fall... Yeah. I just... I won't die. So now I can just stay there forever, or I can just play around in New World, and I, I'll just be fine. I don't even think you could drown. No. Oh, what the? Can I break bedrock in this version? I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna generate a New World because I want to be in a. underneath the water so if I just keep on breaking down no you can't you can't break better off but what look how fast my hands moving on um, where did my okay you can still drop stuff but look I'm not sure where that piece of stone went it just disappeared on me also I accidentally placed it and broke it what just ha what is happening with my blocks why are they just disappearing Oh, that's why. But yeah, my hand just moves ridiculously fast. That just looks silly. Here, I'll know if I accidentally place this one. Oh. But yeah. Yeah, that's creative mode variant. It's not really too fun. I mean, you can just instantly break stuff, but it's honestly kind of worse than survival. Somehow. I'm not even sure how that's possible, but it is. Upgrade time. Welcome, everybody, to Indev 114. And you know how 113, how I was talking about there was no way to test that infinite water? Well, look what beautiful source block just decided to spawn my inventory in this version. Let's just place it down and see if I can actually test the finite water. So it should be finite. Alright, does not look like it's spreading right now. 
Is that a glitch? Okay, it did spread. It's spreading really slowly. Interesting. What if I place it here? And just like covered this area. And make it like a breeding ground, so like there. You just have those two sources. Yeah, honestly, if I'm spamming water. Oh no. Actually, whoa. Do you see that? Okay, yeah, that is finite water. Very interesting water mechanic. Real interesting. And that's very slowly spreading, but it's like fighting the spread. Yeah, I mean, it's not perfect because you got all that, but if I just spam blocks, and it'll just start flooding, okay. Yeah, it'll just start flooding. But then once I break all these spawner blocks, it gets drained. Okay, that's actually really cool. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, I, I'd rather not waste all you guys' time just playing around with water all day. So I believe it is time to get a little bit of a move on and upgrade to the next version. Let's go. Hello and welcome to Indev 122. And first off, does this island look a little sim similar to you? That is right. This is my Indev island from my series. And saves the banana in this version, which is really, really nice. So we can re-explore all these buildings and everything, which is nice. I mean, it's been a while. This is throwing me back. And I have this house that wasn't even completed yet. And do I even have anything? Oh, I already have a ton of resources. Awesome. But yeah, first off, look at this axe texture. <laughs> it's so silly and derpy. <laughs> it's the wrong way. Nope. I did the wrong button. Dang it. Okay, well, there's a few other features version in, or present in this version. Oh, looks like I actually already have it. So first off, Lava Spawner's been added. Like, if you generate a new world, I'll show you later, but it will show. Or it will spawn you with a Lava Spawner. And... So right now, I just generated a new world, and... Just see here, the stack size has been reduced to 50. Looks like you still dropped two items. It looks like you actually drop both items now. You still drop two, but you drop two as well instead of one. So you can't do that weird infinite stack glitch. But however, that's not what I want to show you. You still so you get the lava spawner and you get a bow and arrow now, which I don't know if it works. I mean, it does work, of course. Like, apparently, they don't use arrows. That's weird. But I don't know if there's any mobs I could shoot with or shoot at, not shoot with. What am I saying? But I don't know. I can't find any arena arenas. So I'm going to try going up here to see if I can find any. There they are. Can I pow pow you? They are... They are immune to arrow shots. Are they immune to fire? Well, deal with that. Deal with that. De deal with that. Oh, they just disappear. No! No, okay. What? What? Okay, I was uh, saying, like, what is going on here? Oh, no. Okay, yeah, I'm having a little bit too much fun with this version. I think it's time to upgrade. Hello, guys, and welcome to Indev 124 and the first revision. And looky here. I am inside the Indev house. That's a new structure that I got added. And on top of that, chest I've been added with all these nice tools and items so let's grab some bow and arrows and ooh, a ton of items and some chest because I got something to show you here supposedly first the bow is a different sound um that sounds the same to me interest wait what wait can I just get infinite arrows I just spam it. Oh no. I don't even take damage, alright. Yeah, so I could just get infinite arrows now. Alright, well that's beautiful. Yeah, whoever need limited arrows anyways. 
Well, with this chest here, so I could just use it normally, right? Yeah. So place that down. Boom. Double chest. But watch this. Triple chest. That is that is wacky. But I could do that once. I could do it much more once more. Quadruple chest. But I could do it again. Quintuple chest. This is crazy and insane. Look how much I got in here. All these <laughs> armor things. This is just wild. What? And these red. So if I placed a block in here, let's place it. Let's place. Wait, I got placed a whole stack. All right, interesting. Place one there and place a stack of arrows there. Do I even need arrows? To no, I don't. Okay. Oh, interesting. So well, one shown here. Interesting. One does, even though it's all the way down here. It shows here. Okay, this one has one. That one has one. Okay, I think I might understand. So if I move this guy to the middle, because I believe this one's going to be the middle one. And since the middle is touching all of them, it's going to it's going to detect in all of them. However, I've put this down here. It's going to be this chest, so it should only detect in this chest, I believe. Okay, yes, I understand now. Interesting, very very interesting. Okay, I hope you like my new and improved in-dev house I just created. I just spent like the last like ten minutes trying to make it, and sadly I ran out of chest, but. Oh well, but I can't even place them here. I can't crouch to help place them, so it's a little bit annoying, but like... Do you see how silly this looks? I mean, what even is this thing? But yeah, let me check what else I can do in this version. Okay. So, from my notes, there's one more thing that I have not mentioned. So, oh, I have wool in my armor slots. Look at the axe texture. <laughs> it got fixed for once. Yes, Rana, it got fixed. Can I smack you? Oh, I'm sorry. I did not mean to smack you, but you, you went, ooh. So, I guess it's all right. However, I believe that we're running a little bit longer on this video, so I believe it, or not longer, but I set a timer, so it's, I usually try to aim for about 20 minutes of content, and after editing, it turns out to be like 24 or something. So I reached about that time limit, so we, we're out of time for this video. So I believe I'll show you, uh, I'll see you all in the next video, where we'll f hopefully fin finalize InDev. There isn't too, too much to really go over. I think there's like eight, seven or eight more versions. So that's fun. And it'll be the last part of this three-part series. Then I'll move on to recreations for InfDev, because remember, these are recreations. These aren't actual, like, missing or found found missing versions. These are recreations mainly created by method and maintained or fixed up or some of these were created by Nazco 222. So I thank those two people for making these awesome recreations that, and letting me be able to play these. I can't speak right now. I don't know why these runners are making me... What? I forgot you could hit them from like a mile away. The runs are making me a little nervous. But yeah. So next video we'll go over less, last to last the remakes. Then we'll do the InfDev remakes, which will probably only be a two-part series. Then then we will go back to our regular regularly I can't regularly I I can't say that word. Wow. Reg okay, you know what? Screw it. Yes, we're gonna resume to our next video of the series, which will be episode thirty-nine. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.